Hello and welcome. Today's topic will be the topic of cancel culture. I think cancel culture is a really important topic to think about. So let's all go in our heads to the questions. Who is able to speak freely these days? Who can express themselves free? Who can write in the press? Who can write essays? Who can write and publish books? Who is all over the media and who is all over the press? Who doesn't use the right language these days can very, very fast be in danger. Your whole intellect will be denied. You might even get a shitstorm on social media. Maybe you will even lose your job. Maybe you can't even get a job just because you used the wrong words. At my university, where you can study free art, people even get not accepted because they used the wrong words. And I think we need to change that. And that is why I made the equation I would like to show to you. Grammatical correctness is our cancel culture. Jokes aside, what I was actually trying to speak about is that I think it's completely bizarre and absurd to use the term cancel culture to talk about a phenomena um, that people are not invited anymore because of the racist and sexist behavior, when at the same time there's an actual exclusion going on, which makes it very much impossible for many voices to speak. Um, for example, language. Many people can't have an access to study or to work because they cannot fulfill the very, very high standard of, and much too high standard of the German uh, uh, language. And that's just one example of exclusion of many. And um, one last sentence, to create tolerance, uh, you can't just simply invite the intolerant.